All right. Looks to me like we are live. I'm going to say it. Welcome to Done Deal, everybody. Hey, welcome to Done Deal, everybody. One's in the room, if you can hear me. One's in the room. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Um, so how is everybody out there in Deals Land? And, uh... Hold on. I'm gonna Skype Big Bamboo or something real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. Had to get that fixed and done. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Done Deal, vaping, uh, on Vaping Underground Live, where we recap the, uh, the last week's in de uh, last week of deals. Now, we were off last week, so we're going to have a few uh, extra um, deals this week. At least, um, we're hoping to, because uh, we have to, I, have two, I have two weeks of deals but to, uh, to do this week, so. Now, hopefully... Yeah, well, now, hope, hopefully, some of them won't be sold out, or hopefully, some of them haven't raised the price. Uh, raised the price by now. But. Exactly my point. Yeah, be a lot of the stuff the uh, last little while, you got to be quick, or it's done. Yeah, I mean, there was this like I, I, we'll get to the deal in a little bit, but like like Gearbest, there was this one thing I was pimping. They were changing prices like Every like a go go dancer. It, felt yeah, like, like a, it was driving me batshit crazy. You're like a go-go dancer changing her outfit, and that's everybody's like, Joe's baiting and switching people. He's putting it up there real cheap, and then he makes you click his link, and you go there, and it's one hundred fifty dollars. I'm like, no, it's not me, you asshole. It's them. I don't control their prices. So anyway, hold on, I got an eye out. There, I'm just checking on the music and the levels tonight, you guys. What is with the music tonight? This is the station I've been playing a lot lately, and I don't know about you guys, but tonight I think it sucks. <laughs> it just, it just, I just keep fast forwarding and it's like, no, that sucks too. I can't, I can't hear it. Is it like polka music or? No, it's like garage rock, okay? You know, uh, garage yeah. band. You know, like, and it's not, it's not. Alright, yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if I have to change it, then I gotta fool around for a second because I got everything just set up. No, please, so. by all means, fool around. Fooling around is always a good thing. So let's, okay, this is their last chance. I, I will have to go change it. If, uh, Oh no, okay. this, is kinda, this has got some possibilities. Alright, well, we'll, we'll okay. Alright. Awesome sauce. Okay, well, uh, anyway, 163 in the room. Good start for, uh, for Done Deal. Um, now, uh, no, I won't be giving away pizza. Just saying. No pizzas on the show. Mm -hmm. No pizzas for Done Deal. Make okay, it hold on, Done Deal. Joe had enlargement surgery. Oh, thank you, Big Bamboo. Oh my. Yeah, I actually had that set up here. What I did is I took... No, I actually moved it. I took a uh, Aerotank Turbo and found the smallest mod I could. I should have put it on the little mini... The little mini uh, eye stick, but... But this one actually pushes the turbo, so... So I did that, and it looks kind of funny. So, uh, why don't we do Why don't we uh, get into some vape mail? I have a lot of vape mail this week. I know you have some vape mail this week, so do you want to go first? No, go first. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So I have uh, I have gotten quite a bit of juice this week, um, uh, namely some uh, special branded Vapor Joe's juice. Uh, and um, also, uh, I got something called the Sauce Code. Uh, this was a deal I pimped, um, and I bought it. And what this is, is an American-designed um, uh, fill and vape sub ohm tank. Uh, but what's cool about this is it takes its own proprietary heads, or it'll take the Atlantis heads. Alright, so, now, at first I was having big problems with it. I'm like, my god, I, everything, burnt heads, burnt heads, burnt heads, burnt heads, what is going on here? I didn't realize that there's juice control on the top. See, I'm used to the Delta where it's done differently. Here the juice control is done on the top. And it's a top fill, so when you, when you unscrew this, the top to fill it, you push the, the chimney all the way down and cut off all the juice. Then you fill it, then you twist it back on and it opens it up all the way. But I wasn't doing that. I was just twisting it on for it to be tight and that was it. And I'm just like, burn it, burn it. 
finally, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And I'm turning it, and then I see this thing rising. I'm like, finally. And now it's an amazing, amazing, uh, it's really good. So when you follow the instructions, it's a great out of my I'm a man. We don't look at instructions. Two things men don't do. Instructions or maps. That's it. Those are the two things men don't do. And pee sitting down. And if you pee sitting down, you're a woman. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> um, but it's a great... Uh, it is a really great Addy. And the fact that uh, you can use... Um, uh, no, I... Uh, well, that's wrong. Uh, I, I live solo, so I have to do my own dishes. I have a dishwasher, but some I hand wash. Um... But a great Addy, like I said, takes uh, takes the Atlantis heads or their own proprietary heads, which are actually pretty good. I'm using them right now. Uh, big, big old air holes on this thing. Uh, only problem I find with it, and uh, you're, you may find it too, is this is a proprietary drip tip. You cannot take this off. It is hermetically sealed to the top, and it's made of metal. Now, if you don't push enough air through this, you will burn your lips if you have a really low ohm Addy on this. So just... Just be, be warned. The cool thing is, is they can always come out with a new top for this because it twists off because it's, it's a top filler. Uh, so, you know, maybe they'll come up with some kind of new Delray insulator on it or something. But great, great, great deal for $26. Um, far the best made uh, sub tank, made by Project Sublim. Uh Then I got this uh, from Gearbest. Uh, this is the Smoke, Smock, Smoke Tech M80. This is an 80 watt box mod. Uh, it has a 4,400 mAh battery inside. Um, now, Tiger, you just bought one of these, didn't you? Uh, a what? This, this M80? The smoke no, no, because you... it won't arrive in time. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, well, uh, for 40 bucks and 80 watt mod, uh, I call this semi-temperature control, because some people say it does, some people say it doesn't. Uh, do it right, but I don't care. I'm doing it for the ma, and I'm also doing it for the uh, for the 80 watts, and uh, it also works as a pass through. So uh, great, great mod fits. I mean, I could just palm this bitch. It's awesome. I got a Her uh, I got a Heracles on here with some decang, baby. Vaping decang at uh, 57 watts. Even decang can blow clouds at 57 watts. Uh, then, uh, <laughs> and then, um, okay, so, now why am I holding this up? Well, this is an old school, it's not old school, but in terms of vaping, it's the last generation, or two generations ago now. This is the, um, Kanger Turbo. Now, what this does is it takes two old school Pro Tank 3 heads, okay? This puppy's a big Addy, okay? This thing should fit on a, a 26.6 fit. The cool thing is, is they have the new VOCC heads, which are the cotton heads that they came out with to update the older Pro Tanks. So I put two of them in here, and it works fantastic. I mean, really good. They're uh, 1.8 ohms. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, they're 1.8 ohms. No, no. I'm sorry. 1.6 ohms. There's two in here, so now it brings it down to 0.8 ohms. Uh, so. <laughs> works out pretty good. And I'm vaping some uh, some street light in here. It's the Mad Murdoch street light, glowing street light. Um, so that's that. And then what else did I get? Um, oh, I got another Delta. This is my second Delta. Um, now, if you guys haven't no noticed, um, I just put up. Uh, yeah, I don't read chat, Don. Who's ever talking? I know I don't read chat because I'm I'm talking. <laughs> That's Tiger's job, but Tiger's not here. Tiger's not here right now. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, the, uh, the the Delta, I mean uh, the Delta Two tank. Uh, I got this at uh, Vapor Beast for fifteen dollars and ninety seven cents after coupon. Uh, it's up on my blog right now. Um, the, this is one of the best sub tanks for the money. For fifteen bucks, this is one of the finest sub tanks you can get. Really, really good. Uh, and I, I called this the armored sub tank because literally it's fully ensconced in, in stainless steel with just the smallest little bit of windows. It's like your it's like your juice is in prison, looking out bars. I mean, this thing is like indestructible, and it's got like the, some of the best um, 
I think it's one of the best flavor tanks too. Really, 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 really good. Um, so that's that. What else did I get? Anything else? Um, just trying to think. If there is anything else? Uh, I have a lot of stuff on order. Um, no, I think that's about it. All right, so uh, I'm going to start off with a deal right now because. Um, so Miss Tiger Tiger is away, but I'm going to start off with a deal. And it just just popped, just now, Hold just on. came out. I'm doing oh. my best, Joe. Okay, well, I figured I'd start with a deal because you weren't ready, you know, so, all right. So now you could do your vape mail. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to make it back by the end of your vape mail. I, it, it's been absolutely a, a circus around here tonight. So I'm, I was just out of my chair dealing with, um, yeah, even a small person. All right, she, has, um, she has she has midgets in her house. I eat circus. Uh, yeah, except it, it's not funny tonight. So I'm just leaving it to that. Oh wait, did I say did I say midget? Oh, that's not politically correct. I meant small person. Uh, of of all the weeks to stop drinking. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, uh, vape mail, I don't even know where to start, so I'm going to start with what's in my hand. Uh, the IPv4, uh, thanks, Joe. And, you know, I'm really impressed with this thing. I, I got a rude awakening. Um, I've been using <laughs> my 100-watt device, uh, the Clapper T6. Now, don't get me wrong, I still like this thing and I use it all the time, but I got a rude awakening. I've been using this at 85 watts, thinking, oh yeah, okay, 85 watt, babe, yeah, cool, cool. So, throw some batteries in this when it shows up, pull the, pull the Heracles off the T6, throw it on here, crank it up. It's like, oh, maybe this has a little more power, I'll, I'll just hit it at 80. Holy Moses, got a snoot full of hot vape, and it was like, I'm just unbelievable. And uh, I had to turn it down, I'm not even joking. 55. Damn it, damn it. There is nothing I can do about the volume. If I turn it up one notch more, you guys complain I'm distorting and, and popping and cracking. And if I leave it, and if I turn it down, it's this. So I don't, I don't your music, know. Your music, you know what it is? It's, you're, you're, you're not low. Your music's just really loud. Oh, is the music too loud? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we can do that. Let me just uh, see what we can do with that. How's about that? Is that, is that sounding better? People on the are, we, are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Alright, hold on a second. Here, Tiger Talk, I'm going to mute. Alright. Um, well, Momo says it's good. Momo, I'm taking your word for it. Thank you. So, I had to turn this puppy down to 55 watts to get what I felt was the same bait I was getting on this puppy okay. at 85 watts, okay? So there is a big difference between a 100 watt device that runs on two cells as opposed to one cell, even if that one cell is a 26650. It's, it's the voltage right. out, right? Um, so big difference, loving this device. It's bigger than I thought it was. Like in Joe's hand, it looks so moderate. And in, in mine, there's, there's, I don't have tiny girl hands. Like, uh, they're not huge either. But, it's, you know, there's a lot of mod here. But it's not too big. And I love, love, love it. So, IPv4, awesome. Now, inside the IPv4 is some more of my vape mail. Uh, the cells that I'm running in it are the uh, newer to us, the, the green vape power. And, um,. I'm just reminding myself of the specs here. Uh, they're rated to 35 amps. I've seen 30 amps uh, other places. Basically, I've been saying 30 because I feel comfortable recommending that. They do print 35 on them for a continuous output. Uh, pulse, of course, higher at 50 amps. These are a 1500 mAh. Uh, I've uh, been, been doing great in here. I've got a few pairs of them now, so I've labeled them A1, B1, A2, B2, and so forth, so that I can always make sure I'm, you know, reversing them and so forth, like, like you should do. Uh, the Delta 2. Also, thank you, Joe. Um, this baby showed up this week. And much respect. Now, unfortunately, I just went for broke and filled it up with a juice I've never tried before. And yeah, that wasn't such a hit. So I tried another one I've never tried before. That wasn't such a hit either. So I'm kind of like, now I'm on a juice I used to love. 
but of course it's the same head. So now I can't tell if it's just a little bit of flavor crossover or it, what's going on. I will say I love how the atomizer is built. It is really nicely put together. I like the metal jacket on it, you know, protects the glass tank inside. And my only complaint so far on it is it is not necessarily that fun to build. Um, no. The, di the distance between the cap that fits over the coil head and the wall is really very small and it's really easy to get juice into the chimney. So I've been kind of struggling with that and of course the bottles I want to fill it from have all big clunky tips so you know I'm sure if you have a finer tip bottle you'll have an easier time of it but it's yeah. not as easy as some of the other ones to fill. You've got to kind of tilt it on its edge and, and take your slow. But once would, it's, uh, <coughs> it's, a, it's a decent bit. I was telling them when you were gone that this is an armored uh, sub -ohm. It's like your juice is looking at little prison windows. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that, that line, it's, it, is the, it is the armored sub tank. You, cannot, you could probably run this over your car and it'd be fine. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to try that. But yeah, it is a really smart looking tank. And uh, I like the drip tip. The, you know, this is a small thing. It is just a 510 drip tip. You can put something else in if you want. Pardon my nails. I didn't have time last night. Sorry, guys. But it is a, a Delrin <coughs> with the... It's not going to focus for us. Trust me, it's black Delrin with um, lip gloss on it. Yay. And, uh, and two O-rings. So basically it fits really nice and the Delrin helps keep it cool so uh you know what i have on mine tiger do you remember pimping these uh we're talking almost years ago remember remember these drip tips that had that little uh s symbol on it yeah kind of i never got any of those i knew you were a big oh guy. yeah these, these are these are great drip tips and uh to this day right. i still use well, I just keep grabbing things here because I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I really wanted to talk about tonight. But I missed getting to tell you last week. I'm sorry, guys. I was just feeling like a truck hit me last week. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I do apologize. But if I had been here last week, I would have told you, my smoke was finally showed up. Now, no fault of Focal. Uh, Focal E6 shipped this in quick order and it made it across the Pacific Ocean in quick order. Everything was great until it got to Canada. Then it went on a three week trip around Canada, like all the way from the west coast to the way down east and back. I'm not even kidding you. Spent a whole lot of time in customs, probably made a bunch of friends there. And uh, finally, after three weeks, which was longer than it took to get from the order process to Canada, uh, it finally made it into my hands. It is a black Delrin box, takes 118650, and as you can see, it's got the bottle inside. It's a smoker! So every time you want to drip, instead of pulling your cap off, you just... Okay, if I can slide this back in here, I'll show you. Way to go. There we go. So this little sliding door here, you slide into place, it's held in place by magnets, and then when you want to drip, you just press on that. Doop, doop and it will squeeze juice up through a tube into your atomizer. Now, I don't really want to base this on camera for you because I built it and my build sucks. And it's not the device's fault, it's mine. Um, I built it to uh, two 1.2 coils to come out to 0.6 and it's just really meh. Um, great flavor though. Even at that, you know, I'll, I'll say it's shitty build. Um, great flavor. So I've got one of my favorites, my DSB, uh, Good Morning Beautiful. Uh, Big Bam, it's not $21.90 anymore. I think it's closer to $25 now. But in all fairness, for what I'm seeing here, now bear in mind it's not a metal box, it's a Delrin box, which does make it lightweight, also keeps the temperature down. <coughs> um, it, uh, I, I think it's worth 25 bucks to give you that bottom seating experience. You know, you might not want to pay for real right out of the gate until you know if you'd like vaping this way. 25 bucks is a very reasonable price point to give something a shot, see what you think, and then, you know, you can think about a, 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 a different or better device if you want. But for me, this is, this is fun to just give it a try. So there you go. All right, I think that covers everything that was interesting so over to you um, um somebody was hitting me up in my am just give me one second though um 
It's funny. Uh, I put I put a picture, um, a link in the room. Um, people were asking, what were those drip tips? Well, these were the drip tips. They're actually the same exact price. Um, these were the these were the uh, vicious ant pharaoh style drip tips from Fast Tech. Five dollars, five for five, uh, for six dollars and fifty six cents. We pimped this a uh, year and a and a month ago. And I'm still using these. These are really, really nice drip tips. They're really, really nice. They they just complete. Um, you know, they look really nice on the uh, on the Delta too. But, so those who wanted to know, that's that's what uh, that's what they are. Um, so let me see. Uh, hey Don, why don't you check your fucking IMs now? Sorry. Yeah, he wants to give Don wants to give away something on the show, and it's unclear uh, on, uh, on on what he wants to give away. So I'm oh, just waiting for that. Well, that's, that's, that's out of the ordinary for us. Yeah. We don't we don't usually do any giveaways. Yeah, we don't normally do giveaways here on Done Deal because. Uh... Okay. Uh... Okay, so uh, Don wants to give away two tickets. Th right? No, I'm sorry. Th three days worth of tickets to two people on the show for the New Jersey Vip Expo. Okay, because okay, it does cost. It does. It does take. It does cost to get into New Jersey Vip Expo. I think it's like ten, uh, ten or fifteen dollars to get in per day. So he wants to give away um, uh, two tickets. Two tick. Three. Three tickets to two people. All right. I believe. So, so two people <laughs> covered for three days. There yes. you go. Oh wait, he says one. All right, yes, but only one winner. So one winner will get two, you know a set of tickets okay, for two people. Okay, so they can take their friend right on. Cool. Right, right. Cool. Okay. Now the only problem with that, Don, is not everybody in this room is going to New Jersey Vape yeah. Expo. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to. Uh, this would actually be a very good time to use um, Lucidius's randomizer, but. Uh, but we don't have it. No. Um, but um, but uh, basically, what we're going to have to do is we're going to pick a name at random, and we are going to say, "Do you want them?" <laughs> basically, because that's all we could do, because not everybody's going. So. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you can always test them too. Yeah, that, that's true. All right. So I'm going to put a random in the room. And one lucky winner. Boom. M Y L Oh My L T one Z twenty eight. I used to remember how you want me to say that I'm sorry. I know it's the 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 Z twenty eight. I know what you're talking about there, but Ah, uh, I got it to say Z. I got it to say Z. Hey, my L uh my whatever. Do you uh, are you going to New Jersey Vape Expo? Do you want the tickets? Reroll. Reroll. Okay, let's do it. Reroll. Boom. DJK eight two eight zero. Are you going to be in the New Jersey area mid July? Uh, the dates are July seventeen. It starts. If I recall. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Seventeenth through nineteenth. See, sometimes I remember stuff. Too far for me, Piff. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Who's going to be in the area? Vapor Joe. With yeah, I won. I won, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Brimless. Oh, yes. Okay. And that's, that's an excited yes. I take it you're excited to use those tickets, Vapor Joe. Vapor Joe, are you going? Awesome. All right, good. Finally, and don't go. go around telling people you're me, because I will have to hurt you. <laughs> well, you better be six three, and, and uh, as my dad used to say, build like a brick shit house if you want to pull that yeah. one off. But anyway, um, all right. So how do they claim their prize, Don? Yeah, is there an email address they should contact you at, or or? Oh, Vapor Joe's a girl. Yeah, she's gonna have a real hard time passing for you. <laughs> yeah, if you look like me and you're a girl, you're fucking ugly. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Well, Don, do me a favor. I am Vapor Joe with the information on how she can claim her tickets. Okay? Awesome. Okay. 
okay. Oh, and they'll be waiting for her at will call. Too easy. Great. All right. Well, awesome. Okay. Today for Joe, you will have to uh, pick one of your lucky vaping buddies to go with you and have a great time. Thank you, yeah, now, Don. Now, while since since Don did give this away, let's talk about New Jersey Vape Expo a little bit. New Jersey Vape Expo is going to be here between July 17th and 19th at the Raritan Expo Center. Uh, that's in Raritan, New Jersey. Uh, it's going to be huge. I believe they have uh, 180 vendors, 200 vendors. Uh, at one point, I believe the old lead singer of Creed's going to be there. He's going to be doing an acoustic set. Uh, there's B2B. There's going to be all kinds of uh, crazy VIP areas and booths and the, uh, Vaping Underground Live is going to be there covering the whole thing. I'm going to be there. Smokey's going to be there. Nitro's going to be there. Rhino's going to be there. Uh, I believe Lucidius is going to be there. Um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, Vaping Underground Live crew is going to be there. Uh, a lot of Mod Envy is going to be there, uh, so uh, I know Peebus Hardo is going to be there. Um, let's see, who else? Who else will be there? There's going to be a lot of people there. Uh, no, Tiger will not be there. No, Tiger is yeah. just is is just going to miss it. But she's she's coming to Jersey, but she's just going to miss it. She's coming, but she's just going to miss it. Which which sucks, but but it was for the best, I think. We think. Uh, but, um, yeah, so get your ass down there. If you're anywhere near um, uh, the in the tri-state area, get your ass up there because this is a, one of the first, this is the biggest New Jersey meet ever. Uh, you know, and, and I saw the floor map. The floor map reminded me a lot of Vape Mania. Like, that's big as. I mean, it is big. So get your ass down there. Check it out. And, uh, and go. Right. And, and, I'll even, and I'll even let you shake my hand and see Oh, you'll let them. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, you said you had a deal you wanted to. Uh... Yeah, I do. Uh, so. Blast, I was doing a, bl a little blast from the past. Uh, first deal on my page, actually. It is a brand new version of the MXJO battery just came out. Uh, now, MXJOs, uh, here's the link. Uh, they are fantastic. Um, Basically, um, they're my favorite battery. Oh yes, that's right. I have to put them on. It will have will have a price if I hit that one. Um, I, I didn't I didn't simulcast. Oh oh, if that helps you didn't. You. Oh well, then I no. can. Okay. Right. Yeah, I didn't simulcast. That way about it. Yeah, I did not simulcast today. Right. Um. So anyway, uh, NXGO batteries, uh, uh, my favorite, my favorite batteries for regulated devices, things like the uh, the IP4 and the um, you know like 150 watt Segelis and things like that. Well, they came out with a new version. These are called version twos. Uh, they have 12 percent more battery life. Uh, they're running now at 2800 mAh instead of 2500 mAh. Um, they have a uh, new packet. Like uh, they look a little different. Um, they're saying that the uh, amperage on this is a little more stable than the original MXJO. So, uh, all around, just upgraded MXJO. Uh, and, um, well, you can get them now for $16.99, free shipping, and a free case. Uh, and uh, if you're really uh, into regulated devices, try the MXJOs. They are fantastic. Perry, you don't have MXJOs, do you? No, I haven't. Uh, got any of those yet? Now I got I got the word that these were great from Nitro. Now you know how Nitro is batteries. Yeah, that's uh, right. So um, that's one of the that's one of the people whose uh, word I will gladly take on any battery related issues. So I know he's pretty keen on these, and that goes far with me. Now somebody writes, interesting how the MXJO now has the same specs as the new EFest. Well, specs and performance are two different things. Um. You know, it could say it does one thing and it'll do another. And a, a prime example is the Baby Blues from uh, from um, Samsung. Great battery, uh, about the same specs as the MXJO. They don't last nearly as long as the MXJO. I don't know what kind of like fairy horn magic they put in the MXJO battery to make them last as long as they do, but they last far longer in regulated devices. Unleashed Vapors has a good question I'd love to address while we're talking about batteries, and that is, uh, what's the safest, lowest build on a mech mod for the new batteries? It, it matters not. New, old, whatever. The rule is the same. Do your math. 
uh, check out, just uh, look up Ohm's calculator online. There's, there's dozens of them. There's tools right online. What you're going to do is you're going to enter the resistance of your bills. You're going to enter 4.2 volts for your fresh battery, and you're going to see what the output uh, draw is in amps. Do not exceed the continuous rating of whatever, old, new, otherwise, battery that you're using, okay? Right. As a matter of fact, if your build is pulling 30 amps, make sure you've got a higher than 30 amp battery. Never max your battery's capabilities out. You're playing with fire, possibly literally. Um, I like to use, you know, uh, personally, I use a three-quarter rule. I won't, if, if, the, if it'll do um, uh, 30 amps continuous, I won't pull more than 22, 23. So, um, there you go. Should I tell them why? Should I give them the battery lesson? Yeah, by all means. Okay, so let me explain to you how a battery, how a lithium-ion battery works. A lot of people just think it's just a bunch of chemicals in there mixed around like a soup, and you know that's it. That's not how these things work. Your 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 um, lithium ion, your IMR, uh, basically, which is there's two types: ICR and IMR. Uh, ICR is cobalt. IMR is manganese, which is a safe, more sem safer chemistry than an ICR. That's why an ICR needs a protection circuit on the bottom. That's what, what you call a protected battery. Most of us, 90% of us these days, use IMR batteries, uh, which are safer chemistry, tend not to explode, and uh, they just kind of vent. Now, how it works is inside your battery, there is what's like, it looks like a fruit roll-up, literally. And there is a positive, an insulator, there's a positive layer, an insulator layer, and a negative uh, layer. And basically, positive and negative uh, ions go through the insulator and cause the reaction. What happens is your amp rating is how strong that insulator is, okay? So um, if you push too much amperage, you will p start to degrade that insulator. And then what happens is once the insulator degrades and the positive and negative just go pow, you have a venting battery. Thermal and runaway. You have thermal runaway. That's, that's why when your batteries start getting really hot, that means you're starting to degrade that insulator, so you, and, you, you get more. And this is a very timely conversation because here we are getting into the hottest months uh, for North America, Canada and the United States. It's a bad time of year to leave your mod in the car, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was riding with a friend, I put my black K-Box on the dash. And I only ran in the house for a few minutes to get something, but it was sitting there in the sun. And when I came out, I grabbed it, and it was like, holy dude, this puppy's hot. And, you know, I wasn't even out of the car for more than a few minutes. I just ran in to get something. You definitely don't want to leave a mod in a hot car while you're shopping or, you know, at work or something yep. like that. Wrong season for that. And in the cold, um, on the other hand, that's hard on your batteries, too. So I basically recommend don't, don't leave them. Well, Big Bam Boom put a pictures of, of something I had up on my Facebook Tiger of what happened to a dude's box mod when he left it in a hot car. It blew up his box mod and the and his like whole inner panel of his car. Yeah, I, I think I saw the same one. Oh, yeah, okay. so it's the same one. I hate to think it happened to it, but yeah, so uh, yeah, avoid that because you know I, I thought about that today. Um, no, no, it was yesterday. I was going to the grocery store and I had my uh, IPV with me, and I'm, I'm not going to bring this in the store with me. So I just kind of left it in the center console, and my, I have a black Hummer, so it gets really hot. It, it's, it's a black car. I'm like, I'm taking this with me, because <laughs> this is, I don't want this shit exploding in my truck. Yeah. That's all I need, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, so a little battery safety here on Dumb Deal. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, um, moving on to the next deal. Um, this is... Uh, kind of a, a hot item right now. The IPv3, this is the version 2, the LI they're, they're calling it, um, which is a little odd because, I mean, they're all lithium batteries, but whatever, they're, this is what they're calling it. And um, this one does 165 watts, and uh, it is in stock now. Now, the stock levels are a little depleted. The seal was kind of hot, so um, it hasn't lasted that long, but there are some left if you didn't get in on it. Uh, $89.99 shipping from the USA, so no, you do not have to wait for it to cross the pond to get to you. Yay! Um, what can I and say? And they ship to Canada. 
And they do ship to Canada, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the cheapest. All right, there. Are, you know, people have been asking all day in the group. Where is the cheapest IPv3 Li version two? Where can I find it? There's two places. One sells it for eighty nine ninety nine, and one sells it. I mean, eighty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and one sells it for ninety three dollars and ninety nine cents free shipping. They're same exact price. I like one hundred one vape. They're the one who charges eighty nine ninety nine plus four bucks shipping. So I go with one hundred one vape. Um, that I've been dealing with them forever. Those are the guys that I deal with. So this is these are the cheapest prices you're going to get right now. Uh, it's brand new. The only mistake I think they made is calling it three, because they have the four, yeah. and then they came out with the three. It makes it sound like it's an older model, but that's yeah. not really so. It, it's a little awkward, but. Uh, is it safe to say right now, Joe, even as hep as I am on the IPv4, um, that this is probably the hottest of the IPvs right now? Well, the problem is with the IPv3 is it's more expensive than the IPv4, and the IPv4 does, you know, 100 watts, but you can get it for $59 in some places. So to, for some people, they're like, well... Do I want to spend the extra 30 bucks for the extra 65 watts and also temperature? I believe it's a temperature control mod. Um, so if if you don't need it, they go, you know, they see everybody rocking these these uh, IPv4s. Uh, and it's also a completely different body style, don't forget. This is the, the IPv3 also is the older IPv body style with the touch sensor at the top and most things. So it depends on where you want to go, what's your budget. Uh, but in terms of the newest and the most recent, it, the IPv3 is. In terms of what's selling more, I, I believe the IPv4 is selling more, but that is only because it's cheaper by almost half. So it really depends on what your tastes are. You know, the IPv4s, um, I like them because I could just pull off this and put my batteries in. I don't have to, I, I'm not a big, uh, I, I like the magnetics, but I also like this. I really do. Um, so it's a matter of taste, um, but now, uh, in terms of Billy wants to know is temp control really that big of a deal? She hasn't looked into it that much. They think out, Billy. It's it's like this, and I'm going to borrow a slogan from another advertising uh, uh, campaign, and that it's those who love it love it a lot, and those and I'll include me in this latter group who don't care, just really don't care. I, I don't care either. <laughs> Um, the shit. truth of the matter is, what all temperature control is going to do for you is protect you from a dry hit. So does keeping your Addy full. You know what I mean? Um, now, for drippers, that dry hit thing is kind of a big deal because what it will do is it will sense the temperature of the coil as long as you're using a correct build. Like, um, there, there are things coming, I'm hearing, that will sense temperature on count all, but right now it's nickel and I understand titanium that yep. can do that. Um, so you have to be using the correct build to be able to take uh, advantage of that feature. And what it'll do is it'll monitor the temperature of the coil. Um, naturally, if your uh, wick is really wet and there's lots of juice, that's going to mitigate the temperature and keep it cooler as it vaporizes that juice, okay? The heat is going into, the heat is dissipating in the process of vaporizing your juice. If there isn't enough juice there, the heat will spike. It'll get hotter because there's no moisture there to control that. The device will sense that and kick the power down so that you never get that burnt dry hit. Yeah, or it'll okay. tell you, add juice, yeah. you know, or something like that. That's right. Uh, so, um, so, okay, you're saying you over drip, and me, so much of what I'm doing these days are the new um, sub-ohm tanks. So, as long as you make sure there's juice in your tank or juice in your dripper, you know, but I, I know some drippers who are really, really over the top about the temperature control. What it boils down to is what kind of vapor are you? Right, and what I do find dangerous, and I have to say, are these nickel build replacement heads for sub ohm tanks. Now, I don't find them dangerous because they're dangerous themselves, but what happens is a lot of these people are putting them in a sub tank, not realizing it, you know, and they, they put it down. Because I, I, I don't always keep the same Addy on the same tank all the time. Sometimes, you know, uh, I move an Addy to a different mod because, you know, that mod is, you know, whatever, it needs to be recharged, but I like what's in that Addy. All of a sudden, I put that nickel. See, you gotta understand, a nickel build has no resistance. 
Okay? So basically, if you put a nickel build on a regular mod, you're going to get a short. Okay? Like, just say you put a nickel build on a regular straight mechanical. You're going to you're gonna have a, a, a massive short because there's no resistance. So uh, you got to be careful. You got to let, you, you almost like you got to mark your tank and let it know that that's the one with the nickel or the titanium build in it. Because uh, you could you could damage uh, a mod or do something that you know that if it's not ready for the, the temperature regulation, you may have a, a serious issue on your hands. So gotta really gotta, good point. Yeah. But uh, you know, don't shy away from a temperature control device if you love all the other specs on it and the price is right. You just don't have to use that feature. Now, now, iJoy is coming, a company called iJoy, they contacted me, I posted it probably about three weeks ago. They're, it's an iJoy uh, box mod, it's apparently going to be able to temperature sense canthal wire. From what I understand, canthal wire is extremely, um, uh, it's extremely unpredictable, so um, the way they're going to do it, I don't know how. That's what that's what Nitro was was talking about. That for the other wires, there's there the the heating and it's it's very predictable, and you can write an algorithm that will anticipate what it's going to do. Uh, but like you're saying, Canthal, that 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 doesn't hold to that rule. So yeah, it's magic. It, they've built magic into that one. Horm I, I like to say horror magic, but but yes, magic. Yeah, well, I know you do, <laughs> but. All right, uh, you're up, Joe. Okay, uh, I'm up. All right, so I want to talk about something that happened. Right. I want to talk about something that happened. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the room. It doesn't work any. It doesn't really work anymore. But uh, I'm going to address something. I need to get back to the room. Uh, this is the Evic. Okay. Now this was the deal I was talking about. How they kept changing the prices over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. It was it was down to 54 with a coupon. Then, it, they, they, then they jumped it right back up to 127. Then we found another coupon that dropped it down to 60. Then they dropped the price again down to 57. So, um... It was infuriating to try Yeah, and to then... The old price and, and, by the time you were done writing the blog. And then the whole, t and then the whole time, everybody on the cell phones couldn't see the deal because their mobile site never reflected the deal ever. So there was like people going, no, it's really 127. Other people take a screenshots, no, it's 57 dollars, and there was a war going on. I'm like, bitches, get off your cell phones and go on a desktop. Finally, by the time these people got on their desktop, they raised the price to 127 dollars again. So I look like a dick, but a lot of people got on with 57 dollars and 99 cents, myself included. I got the black and red. Oh, uh, that's coming in. Um, I don't know whenever Gearbest decides to send it out, but. It is now a dead deal. Now, if you want to pay $127 for it, you can, but yeah. uh, I would just wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Angel, now, Angel Sigs had a few yep. uh, floating around out there for $57. They may have some in stock. They may have uh, increased their stock levels. I'm not sure, but uh, what it is is basically, you have to understand something. Joytech fixes their prices, okay? They price fix. If you're caught selling their product below what they tell you, they will ban you. Okay, a lot of companies do this. Um, they price fix. That's, this mod is not worth $127, but Joytech says the minimum you're allowed to sell this for is $127. So uh, it's this whole price fixing thing is a big pain in the balls, and a lot of these vendors abide by it because they want to be able to get Joytech products in the future. Thus, they. they, oh. they there's an interesting comment in chat, Joe, uh, that I want to draw your attention to so we're aware for future deals. Carrie K is letting us know it worked on my phone. Uh, just had to register or click to go on the full site. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so there's, there's the magic. Okay, and somebody's saying Wake and Vape has them for 63 and Element Vape has them for 58 right now. So get over there and see okay. if you can get Yeah, those are, those are good deals. Yeah. Yeah, so if you can, if you could find them, because because what happens is is Vapor Joe's our site, okay. I, I would like to say sets the tone, okay. We set the tone. If somebody's out there selling these things for, if everybody was selling them for one hundred twenty-seven dollars, everybody would be selling them for one hundred twenty-seven dollars. The moment Vapor Joe's comes in and says this guy's selling them for eighty, a real seventy bucks, everybody goes 
fuck, we have to lower our prices now because we'll never sell them. And then everybody comes down. And that's what we love to do. We set the tone. I remember when the DNA 30 box mods came out, the fake ones, and they were selling them for like a hundred bucks. And one vendor came in and said, fuck that, I paid 30, I'm selling it for $45. We came in we, and we just said, you know, we just said, price is fixed, $45. If you pay more than $45, you're getting ripped off. Everybody and their brother came down to $45. Because we, we ain't dealing with that shit. <laughs> we ain't dealing with that. We ain't dealing with that shit. All right, so. All right. That's that on the, on the V. Oh, oh, wait, 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 stop. I did get to touch one of these uh, at uh, Eastig Outpost. Uh, they were selling them. I touched it, and... <laughs> I, 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 call, I touched the bumblebee, and, and what I mean by the bumblebee, this, I know this, what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it literally looks like the bumblebee from uh, from Transformers, the the uh, the Camaro, and uh, it's a really nice rock solid mod. You have to get used to changing the wattage up top. There's a little flicker, uh, but it is a really rock solid mod, really really nice, and that. Uh, that tank that is on top of it is a bit like the Delta, so I think... Um, but make sure if you're buying it at $58, you're getting the tank, because some of these guys are selling for 58 bucks and not giving you the tank. So yeah. just make sure you're getting the whole complete package. Yeah. Um, now, Corey McClausus, MC. Yes, you can get on Vapor's TV on cell phone, as uh, one of the other viewers has let you know. You simply need a uh, flash-enabled browser for your cell phone. Uh, right, pu puff, puff, puffin, puffin, puffin browsing, browser. Mercury. There you go. All right. Okay. So, um, next up, what is next up? Next up is... I have another deal, and this one is still going. I checked right before the show, so I promise you this one's still going. Now, we have seen them a hair cheaper than this, but uh, this is one of the very best deals I've seen on the Kanger K-Box, and no joke. I mean, it's simple, it's cheap, but these things are solid. I've got two of them. I love them both. I use the heck out of them. Um, 40 watt device. It's not uh, like we're used to on other wattage devices where you can kind of set it to any point one of a watt you like, uh, in any tenth of a watt. This one has seven presets, which works great for me because I'm kind of AR, and when I when I set my wattage devices anyway, I like them set to a to a five. You know, it's always got to be 60 or 65 or 70. I, I don't like 68.3. I, I don't know what that is about. So. I tend to do that anyway, even when I have the option. So you've got seven presets ranging from 6 to 40 watts on this, and uh, it takes a single cell, just drops out the bottom, and you got a little screw port here. There you go, there's your battery. So it's uh, size. The beautiful part is, if you still like your Kanger sub tank, the original, what we've been calling the OG, the 25 millimeter, which looks silly on some mods because it's just a hair too big, this is made to house it perfectly. It's got that little uh, extra bit of uh, girth, if you will. And uh, works like a charm, no complaints. 17 bucks, as far as I'm concerned, the only question really is how many do you want. Right, and the coupon, code, coupon code. the coupon code for dad is still in effect. That's the Father's Day coupon. It is still in effect. Also, while you're on Vapor Beast, looking at this mod, go over to the deal of the day. Um, they have a what's called a uh, green, uh, Sig Green XV3. Basically, this is a Mutation X version three, except there's a little change. There's a hinge on it. Okay, there's a hinge on it, so basically you don't have to pull off the cap. You just open it. Okay. And you fill it, and then you just close it back up. A uh, little, little design. Uh, the deal's only going on for another 19 hours. Uh, with that coupon, I believe it comes down to like $16 for the Addy. So for under 40 bucks shipped, you're gonna get an Addy, a Mutation X style Addy, with the hinge and a 40 watt box mod wow. shipped to your house. <laughs> so if you're 
Yeah. So if if, if you're into this Addy, uh, it's only there's only 19 dollars left on on this particular atomizer deal. But that K box deal has been running for weeks. This guy must have thousands of them because I know when I first hit that K box at 17 dollars and 99 cents, I my emails were blowing up. Of, you know, because every time there's an order, I get an email letting me know that something came from my website, and it was just like cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, just kept coming. So he must have a warehouse full of these things. Uh, yeah, Corey, we, we mentioned that they've raised the price back up on the EVIC, um, but there was two other sources in the states that had competitive pricing for them. Right. It's a, it's a hunt. Uh, we have, uh, Vapor Joe's has, uh, we have a team now. Uh, we not, it's not just me and Tiger. We now have, uh, uh, we're not going to tell people who, but we do have a team of people that help us source deals. Um, and uh, so now we have more eyes on the ground, more feet on the ground, more shoe leather pounding on the doors. Uh, to find us and help us uh, because there are so many new vendors and so many new products out there that uh, you, you know just two people just can't do it so it's gonna be uh, we'll send out the minions say source us this stuff all right so anyway um, um. Did I keep going or? Uh, do you want me to do the next deal? Well, that's what I'm asking. Do you want me to keep going or? Uh, no, I'll uh, I'll do the next deal. Well, I will do the next deal. I'm gonna try turning off Skype during uh, the shows. All right, let's go with. Now, first, before I unleash this, I want to see if it is still in stock because. Let's see. No, on the stock. The stock. Okay, while well, you look for one. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I just making sure he had four. He had four different selections, so I had to make sure before. There's five left in stock, so if anybody wants to get in on this, uh, it is the Sigeli 150 watt box mod. Uh, you can get this at a low price of sixty five dollars and ninety nine cents. Free shipping out of the United States. He only has black left. I think he only has five or six of them left. Blue, red, and silver are out of stock. Okay, um, fantastic, fantastic deal at just sixty-five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay. Now, Tiger, you don't have one of these, do you? No. Okay, I do. I have one. It's called the, it's called the Oni version because it has a little Oni devil on it. These are fantastic mods. They go up to 150, 160, 150 watts. Uh, take two eighteen six fifty batteries. Um, Tried and true, they work like a dream for 65 bucks. If you're looking for a high wattage mod, like I said, there's only about five left. Uh, get it, uh, get her done for the black if you like the black ones. Sig Army. <laughs> well, and do wraps exist for these yet, Joe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you sure. Go. So, you know, so what, what color it is, make it whatever you want. Oh yeah. Abby said he picked one up for fifty nine last week. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. I mean, th there's a huge, um, th like deflation in the market. Um, so somebody says it shows it at ninety dollars. Where is it showing it? Now? Yeah. Yeah, you got to use the coupon code, dude. The, the blog <laughs> post that you <laughs> click to get to the product has the coupon code in it. You know, yeah. It, 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 yeah, that's one of the things people fail to realize. They go to the deal and they just click the link and they go, it's too expensive. And it's like, look, break, says use coupon code. And then you get it for that price. We, we write all that stuff for you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like with those people that are standing right in front of whatever they're looking for, screaming at the manager, asking for what they're looking for. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I, I've had that moment. No, I'm not screaming. I'm just going, can you help me find, oh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, turn around. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so uh, pick it up. There's only, like I said, there's only a few left, and um, and on that, I'm gonna just post another deal only because it's from the same exact vendor. Uh, while we're while we're here, um, and it will be a new tank. Okay, that just came out. Um, it is called the Sigeli Elite Subtank. 
or at the same vendor. So if you're going to put that in your cart, you might as well put this in your cart. Now, what this is, is a really affordable um, sub-tank uh, that looks much like a uh, Segeli sub-tank. I mean, uh, a, a, a Kanger sub-tank. Uh, basically, it looks like they almost use the same style heads. It's all Pyrex, stainless steel. Uh, I know there was a one cheaper one out there that was using the quote-unquote German po uh, polycarbonate for around the same price. This one, all glass, all stainless steel. Uh, comes Now, the cool thing is this one comes with three replaceable heads. It comes with a 0.2, a 0.5, and a nickel. So if you're into temperature control, you get all three. Okay, so you get a 0.5 ohm, a point... I'm sorry, you get a 0.5 ohm, a 1.2 ohm camp ball, and a 0.2 ohm nickel uh, uh, temperature control uh, head for this thing. Whole package, $17.99 with coupon code Vapor Joe, and it ships free from the United States from Isig Avenue. I mean, these 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 uh, these these sub tanks are coming furiously quick. Is there the market is being flooded? I know uh, we have uh, the Atlantis is being replaced by the Triton. Um, I know that uh, the Her Hercules or Heracles is now coming out with a new tank. Um, they're just they're they're coming left and right. It's, it's just being bombarded with sub tanks. <laughs> sub ohm tank. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah, the sub tank is actually a. Yeah, sub ohm. It's getting tanks. confusing. But really nice little uh, nice little tank for the price. Anything under any tank that's under twenty bucks, made of glass and stainless steel, it's just and it ships free. It's like Tiger said. It's not a question of you know if you should. It's how many. <laughs> yeah, they're like rabbits. Alrighty. Well, I do have another battery deal I wanted to talk about. Now, th this one I'm not talking about so much because it's so exciting price-wise. Okay, you know it. It is what it is. What it is, is it's rare. If you like your Sony VTC5s, they ain't making any more, and they're getting rarer than hen's teeth. So if you want some, grab them wait, while what you did you can. just say there? What, 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 uh, rarer than hen's teeth? Yes. Okay, never heard that one before. Well, okay. you don't <laughs> have farming relatives, obviously. Um... <laughs> Well, you know, have you ever seen a hen's tooth, Joe? They're pretty. I never really, I never really, I've never really looked. Never really looked. There you go. Okay. Well. So uh, these are uh, three for thirty six ninety nine. So you know, it's not like I say I didn't run this because it's just such a hot deal. There's better battery deals out there, but if it's got to be BCC five, snap them up while you can because they are not going to last. Uh, these are coming from a trusted American source. They are legit, okay? So you don't have to worry, are they really VTC5? Yes, they are really VTC5. Uh, 30 amp, 2600 ma, made by Sony, and a, uh, a, a uh, rare find these days. Yes. So. And uh, everything from Vapor DNA always comes with a free bottle of juice. Uh, so you're going to get the batteries, and then you also get a 10 mil bottle of their Millennium Potion, which is actually pretty good. Every time I order from them, I always get Bellici. It's actually very good. Um, now, I was on eBay today, because I scope out eBay for deals, because, you know, eBay is a great great source for deals. And uh, they are... You be careful, okay? There's something you guys have to be wary of. Sony VTC, VTC5 replacement batteries. Authentic, or for twenty bucks. I'm like, this is impossible, right? No. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm reading it, and it's saying replacement batteries for Sony VTC5, and I'm almost I'm almost, and I get it. I'm like, oh, this is a suitable replacement for Sony VTC5 batteries. They look like Sony VTC5s. They're marked Sony like that, but they're clones. They're fakes. But the wording yeah. makes it almost makes you think. They're real authentic, because they go authentic replacement batteries for Sony's. And technically, he's right. They're meant to replace your your Sony VTCs, and they act like VTCs, but they're not VTCs. I almost put that deal up, and if I did, I would have gotten my ass kicked, because yep. they're fake. <laughs> I would have gotten my fucking ass kicked. 
Because the purists out there would have, yeah, would have fucking bitten my fucking head off. Anyway, so as Tiger was saying, Sony vtc 5s these they're getting very, very, very hard to find. These are I'm starting to call these unicorn batteries. Yeah. Um, there are purists out there that love their vtc 5s and nothing but their vtc 5s uh, they swear by them, but uh, Sony has completely stopped production on them. They're done. They're over with. So if you can find them, buy them. Um, and, uh, and there's there's Nitro. I would have helped crucify him. <laughs> and he would have stuck each, like, he would have pounded the batteries in each hand and foot. <laughs> instead of nails. <laughs> But yeah, excellent, excellent batteries. And of course, excellent company, Vapor DNA. Uh, good place uh, to uh, talk about our next deal. Uh, let, me, uh, let me just eat it. I'm so disorganized today. Uh, it's the sauce code. I just have to find it on my blog because I had oh, so many Oh, I've got that one, Joe. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you have it? So All I'll right. just run uh, two more together here. Um, okay. Big Bam's got the link, so I'll just go ahead and... Oh, well, um, beautiful. So there it is, the sauce code. Now, Joe was talking about this one at the top of the show in his vape mail. Uh, it took a little bit to get used to it, but now that he's got it uh, all figured out and uh, the juice flow on it, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, well, I haven't got to try it, so I'll, I'll let you talk a little more, Joe, if you want to just... Uh, Reiterate? Yeah. Um, yeah. And while you're there looking at the Sony VTCs, check out these the sauce code. Now, what the sauce code is is made by Project Subohm. Everybody knows uh, about the Project Subohm brand. Uh, basically, what they do is they design in America and have it made in China yeah. to their specifications, and that's what keeps the prices down. Let's face it: if this was made in America, it'd be a sixty dollars tank. Um, now, it's beautifully designed. It is a it is a tank. It's Absolutely gorgeous. It's got a really short drip tip up top, uh, unreplaceable. Uh, that's its only shortcoming, I believe. Uh, other than that, there's so a few things you need to do with this. Um, okay, so when you put the when you put the head in and you close it up, whatever, uh, the juice control is up here. Okay, so when you want to fill it, you have to unscrew it. The juice control comes all the way down. And you can now fill the juice from the top, which is a nice thing. Instead of having to turn yeah. it upside down and you take the add off. When you're done, and you want a wide open juice, you got to turn it at least 12 times, and you'll start seeing that chimney rise, exposing the the, the cotton, and then you will get an extraordinary bit. The cool thing is, is it takes its own heads. They're called BXDC, and it takes Atlantis heads. So if you already have an Atlantis. You have a whole stockpile of heads you can use. Atlantis so, and Milo will fit these, and the heads for these will fit Atlantis and Milo. So you've got lots of options for mixing and matching there. Yes, and the rebuildable heads for the Atlantis and Milo will work on this as well. Well, that actually feeds beautifully into my next deal, because this tank uh, is, is priced right for what it is and what you're getting, um, and I'm, I'm kind of interested now too, especially after hearing your experiences with it, Joe. But the cool news is they've come out with an RBA head for it as well. This is a, a rebuildable coil head built for the sauce code. But of course, because the heads will fit Milo and Atlantis as well, you can use this in your Milo and Atlantis as well. And uh, after coupon code, then the coupon code, of course, is in the blog post. Just hit the link that Big Bam has shared. Thank you, Big Bam. And you can get one of these for $7.19. Uh, my advice, grab it while you're grabbing your sauce code and uh, you're off to the races so you can you can rebuild your heart's content. Right, and um, another thing is, uh, this is the cheapest for these. Um, I was pimping these on eBay for uh, a long time. They were $15.99, $11.99, $13.99. These are down to $7.19. And uh, it'd be that by far the cheapest you're going to find these. Um, I haven't seen anybody sell the re rebuildable. Basically, this is a rebuildable Atlantis head. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, y you can't find them lower than ten bucks. You know, usually anywhere. So seventeen dollars nineteen cents out the door. And if you just buy this head, you'll still get a free bottle of juice. 
So think about it. For seventeen dollars and nineteen cents, you're like, fuck it, I don't want this. Seven dollars, Joe. Seven. What did I say? Seventeen. Oh, sorry. Seven dollars and nineteen cents. Um, you'll still get a free ten mil bottle of juice. So you're gonna get juice and the rebuildable head for just seven dollars and nineteen cents. So that that is uh, an incredible deal. You know, if you don't want the sauce code and you have an Atlantis, but you want a rebuildable head for it, boom. There you go. Or a Milo. Which, I've never tried the Milo. Uh, anybody in this room try the Milo? Is it good? Or is it just like every other, you know, kind of like Atlantis, Arctic? Because some, some of them do stand out. Um, Suzanne, the code is in the link that Big Bam has given. <laughs> Nitro, you know what a tank is these days. You finally found one that uh, that you like enough to keep using. That's pretty exciting. And uh, um, anyway, uh, yeah, there there are tanks, and then there are great tanks. And the Sauce Code, I would say, the Heracles, the uh, Delta Two, and uh, the Arctic are in my top four. The Kanger sub tank, it's I always will have a, a soft spot in my heart because you know it's the it was really yeah, the first. They led the charge, and you know they're they're still viable. I, I I use two of them in constant rotation, and I still like them. But I would admit, Joe, um, I think you're right. I would put Heracles and Arctic above the sub tank right now, and I haven't had a chance to try them either. I have a sub tank, a Kanger sub tank, a 0.5 build that sits on a uh, 100 watt T6 that only gets popping cherry by scope. It's the pop and cherry setup. It's the only one again. So, he has his own setup for his juice. Now, do you have anything else from, uh, from Vapor DNA that you may want to pimp before I move on? Um, I'm trying to remember where my other deal is from. Uh, you go ahead, I'll, I'll, I'll do mine after. Okay. Uh, now, this is... I, um, now, we did have an amazing deal, but it's gone, so I want to talk about this. Uh, you got, this is why you guys got to come to our blogs all the time. Because what happens is we will get these instant deals. Uh, vendors will hit me up and say, I have this. Now, there was the IPv2S 60-watt mod, okay? It came down to just 32 bucks, okay? Out of the United States. came from Vapor Beast. I'm not kidding you. I must have sold three or four hundred of these. Okay, that's how popular these were. I mean, a sixty-watt box mod for thirty-two dollars shipped. You know, well, you pay a, a small shipping charge, but uh, shipped from the United States is an incredible price, an absolute incredible price. And so many people bought it, but so many people missed out on it. So that's why you got to um, you got to uh, uh, you know be ready. All right, so let's talk about uh, something called the smog. Okay, now what the smog is? The link in the room. Boom! There's the link. The smog. The smog is a 150 watt box mod uh, out uh, gear best for fifty four dollars and forty eight cents. Now we're down to thirty three cents a watt. Now the butter zone is what I call it. The butter zone is fifty cents a watt. If you can get a box mod at 50 cents a watt, you're in the butter zone. If you can get anything below that, it's just a definite buy. Uh, now, this is a typical 150 watt box mod. Um, it takes two 18650s, magnetic door, uh, you know, it's your standard rigmarole, you know, except it has a big square display above the button rather than the side display. Um, they're saying it's running on an SX1500 chip. Now, this is the sticking point for me. Yeehaw does not make a 1500 chip. Okay? So what I think they're doing is they just made a chip and they called it an SX1500 because Yeehaw does not own the rights to the word to letters S and X. So they're just calling it the SX1500 um, uh, chip. Uh, but it looks nice. It's got a big old fat dragon on, uh, engraved on the side. The buttons stick out pretty far, which I like because I hate digging for those little stupid panna buttons. Uh, it's got an adjustable uh, copper uh, uh, 510 connector. It looks like it's a, like a Fat Daddy style. 
and um, if you use uh, coupon code Maxi, you will get it for fifty-four dollars and fifty-eight cents. These are in stock. This is not a pre-order. You can get them in black. You can get them in blue, uh, and you can get them in silver. Uh, so, a, a good one up from uh, from Gearbest. Okay, I'm I'm going totally girly, and I'm like. What were the specs again? I like the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, that is a, uh, a really, really uh, good buy at just 54 bucks, 151 bucks. Well. All right, Tiger, you were looking. Uh, yeah, now I did find my other deal. It is uh, on another uh, of the tanks we've been talking about. Um, let me bring up the picture. There we go. This is the Zephyrus styled. Okay, now this isn't the Authentic, but I've been reading up on it, and owners of the Authentic are checking it out, and they are really hard pressed to find a difference. So much so, they're the ones this time saying that they're convinced these are coming off the same line and just leaving by a different door. Um, so we're calling this a hybridizer, uh, and actually, Joe, you coined that. Do you want to explain your your term there? Well, a hybridizer is basically um, a, 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 a you know a, there's a lot of hybridizers these yeah. days. Any any fill and vape uh, that 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 you could rebuild or use replaceable ends. Right, and um, let me just jump over. I want to remind myself. I. I got to check part of my deal to see that they were still in stock uh, this afternoon, or, well, this evening before the show, but this one I didn't make it to, so I just want to make sure this baby's still in stock, and I, I'm sure it is, but I got caught right, a this... few times on that, so I'm, I'm all uber cautious now. Uh, scanning, 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 scanning. There it is. I, mean, I like that. I like the fact they give you the colored O-ring so you can dazzle it up, and I, yeah. I like the fact they give you all the other extra accoutrements and the extra replacement tank and, yeah. and all the other stuff, so yeah, for that price, this is... So yeah, they are including, you've got uh, the replacement coil head and um, the, the... I'm just checking here. And okay, this is the part I wanted to explain. This is what I remember now. This is another top filler. Uh, so this, I mean, you're probably looking at the picture as I did, going, okay, yes, seals, I get it, no problem. There's all the seals. Oh, let me show you here on the picture. Whoa, slow down there. Uh, okay, so here's all your colored seals. Cool, cool, cool. But what the heck is this little puppy? This little red sort of semicircle with uh, little plugs in it. Well, that's exactly what it is. It's the plug. It's to block off the, the, the filler hole um, for after you've uh, finished top filling it before you replace that cap, <laughs> that goes on and then uh, you don't drip and leak juice everywhere. White Russian really says like it's, the butt, it's the butt plug. Uh, yeah. Um, so, and now you've also got the drip tip here, but what they've also included, and I think this is kind of cool, this is a nice little touch that they included. That is a 510 drip tip, so is this. This is a heat sink that you can put in first, and then you can put the drip tip that comes with on top, or your favorite drip tip, whatever. But the heat sink is going to help to keep some of the heat down and dissipate that and uh, keep your lips and your, your just a little more comfortable if you don't like that high heat. So there you go. There you yes, go. Jolly. styled. But the beautiful part is um, they're... They're having a hard time telling the difference from the authentic, and it's under 16 bucks. <laughs> yeah, Jody High Roll of 51. So yes, it's a rebuildable and a replaceable coil tank. So that's why we call it a hybrid omizer because it does both. Uh, now I think the Zephyrus is more geared toward the rebuilder because it's, it's originally made by Yude, and Yude were all um, or it's all dripper, drippers and, and Jenny tanks. Uh, so I think it's more, more, it's it's more geared for a rebuilder, but at the same time, they do make replacement heads for it. So um, it, it's just uh, it's just the way you want to go. But for fifteen bucks, who gives a shit? Buy it, and it has a butt, and it has a butt plug. Well, 
here, what I'll do is I'm actually going to show you a shot of the rebuildable head as well because you'll want to see that. The one, of course, in the picture is, is the foil head. Let me show you what the rebuildable deck looks like because we know you rebuilders are going to want to see that. So I'm just going to grab that for you right here. And there she be. Boom. So. There you go. So it's got that um, center post with the two holes in it. Now I like that. It makes it, I believe, easier when you're building your coils to secure them because you're not fiddling around with one screw and trying to get the wires in past each other and, and batting them down at once and knocking one loose when you're trying to get the other one perfect. They each have their own place to uh, be terminated. So, but, and also what that means is that you can I always carry past, okay? So you don't you don't do the two closest holes together, you do the one past, okay? So that gives you a little more space to work. I like that. There it is. Oh scuba! Your 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 uh, your package is on the way, buddy. Just letting you know your package is on the way. Yeah, All right. And and as Gubu was saying, it's got uh, those those uh, four three millimeter. Those are three millimeter holes, air holes coming in. So tons of airflow. Yep. So there it is, under sixteen bucks. So I have an I have an odd uh, I I didn't tempt this, but I'm gonna put a link in the room. Uh, this is for vinyl stickers. Uh, these are coming out of Sun Vapors. For those of you who... They're cheap. They're $2.99. And these are for your car. It just says, I vape, I vote. Anti-e-cig is pro-tobacco. Don't stop life-saving innovation. And basically, it's a vinyl sticker you can put on your window. It's not like those crappy uh, stickers that, 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 that have adhesive. These come off. Um, they're out of Sun Vapors. They have two different styles. There's this one, and there's another one with like an American hand like flag. Uh, for $2.99, it's just a cute thing. Uh, if you want to throw it on your car or what have you, uh, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, I picked up two. I'm going to definitely put it on, on, on uh, my car, and I'm going to give one to my mom to put on her car. And uh, I don't know. just think it's a cool idea. What do you think, Tiger? Yeah, absolutely. Especially, I don't know if you guys have been following, but you know, my Facebook feed has been full of absolute nonsense this week. Um, I believe it was Wales now has banned vaping in public areas. Scotland is looking at the same thing. Why? Because it normalizes smoking. There's no evidence to prove this. They've just decided that it, that, you know, and it's more dangerous. Uh, the week before this week, I read in somebody's news feed, uh, in my news feed, that uh, somebody's mom had seen one of these garbage articles with junk science saying how vaping was so dangerous. And she has, after after two years, given up vaping and gone back to smoking. I could have cried. So, yeah, we got to get the word out. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> you just... picture that? It's like, that vaping shit is dangerous. Let's go back to tobacco. Yeah, exactly. Really? The devil we know. Uh, more like the devil that's highly taxable and lucrative and keeps pharma and, yeah, anyway, let's not go there. I will start pontificating. Now, how many in the room, let me ask you guys, how many people in the room, when you when you walk outside of a building or whatever, and you see a smoker, and you have your PV on you, you immediately put your PV to your mouth. <laughs> show them that you're vaping. How many of you do that? I do that all the time, because people in my complex, they have to, it's a smoke-free complex, smoke-free apartments, so they're all, like, outside smoking, and when I walk by, I'm always vaping, and they're looking at me like, what is that electric thing? Yeah. You are vaping, you know, you and that's creating smile. a... Like, like, come on, ask me, ask me. <laughs> it's like, yes, it's like, please ask me, and and I smile, and my teeth are white. Why? Because I don't smoke. And I'm all fucking yellow and nasty. Hang on. All right. Well, that's it for me. Did you have any more, Joe, or shall we move to questions? We are at 22 past the hour. I'm just looking. Uh, I just want to throw this one quick one out there. I do a monthly reminder uh, every month. Uh, I'm just going to throw this in there. This is from Vista Vapor. Uh, free bottle of e-juice. All you do is pay $1.99 shipping. Now, uh, what you do is you, you it, now this only works once a month. So if you've gotten this two weeks ago, this link will not work for you. 
uh, is there's like a cookie or something um, on their end. It's not on your end. It's on their end to let them know that you've already done this. So what you need to do, and this is this is the way I do it. You can upgrade to 32 mils for one dollar. Okay, so you pay one dollar extra. So you pay a dollar ninety nine shipping and one dollar, and you get a 32 mil bottle of juice. I suggest you get the apple pie. I have a 120 mil bottle of their apple pie. That's how much I love their this juice. Okay, get it. It is a great apple pie. Somebody else said the uh, green apple orchard is fantastic. Um, so every month you get it, no problem. Uh, I also believe you could do it with Apollo e cigs. Apollo e cigs has a free e juice deal. I don't have the link to it. Uh, that one also you get two 10 mil bottles. I think shipping's a dollar ninety nine uh, as well. So there's a lot of these free e juice deals out there that vendors will do just to pay shipping. Um, and it's a good way for, for vapors on a budget to get juice. I mean, that's going to last for them. So I always put this out there because, you know, you may be like, shit, I need e-juice, but I can't afford any. It's like, well, if you got a dollar ninety nine, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, so get over to Vista Vapors. They're, they're, uh, they they do make some, uh, some good stuff. They make some good stuff. All right, so let's take some questions. All righty. Well, I noticed Big Bam, we were just talking, uh, Kim Gal and I were just exchanging. Uh, we got our school tamers, and I, I, I put on my wire away, but I do have one handy. Uh, this is what they look like, and Big Bam has dropped the link in the room there. Now, I've got an, if you're, if you want a bunch of these, hang tight, because I've got an even better deal coming up for you, okay? Um, but what these do, you can see the little hole there, you just slip this over your spool around your wire, it holds that end, holds it all nice and firm, so if you do, it's happened to all of us, I mean, you're, you're trying to hang on to that end and all of a sudden it slips out of your fingers and poof, your spool just blows up and it's like, Arr! Um, this will prevent that forever and you don't have to take it off, you just use it right on the spool that fits around it, okay? Your, your wire comes through that little hole there and um, it's even got a little loop at the back so you can hang them and organize them if you want, it's just too cute. And I I'm loving these things, it's such a simple thing but it's another one of those really simple things that just makes life easier. Um, so, uh, Dr. Death, I'm not sure what you're asking me, are these in the U.S.? Is that what you're asking? Yes, they ship from the U.S. Um, but I do have another deal uh, for people who want a bunch of them. So, so stay tuned. VaporJoe.ca. Oh, okay, so it's not written yet. Okay. That's great. Okay, she's saving it. She's saving it. I'm saving it. No, no, it's, it's going to come up real quick. Real, real. Okay, yes, yeah, something we must talk about. Uh, uh, Baby Underground is turning one year old next, uh, well, uh, next Saturday, actually. This Saturday coming up, Baby Underground turns officially turns one. Okay, if you haven't already, uh, we're giving away a PS4. Okay, now go over to the to the, to the to the post there. You can enter right from the post. This little glimmer thing is going to pop up, and you can enter 15 different ways. Each way is an is an entry in. Right now, there are 7,314 entries. Okay. And you can enter 15 times, up to 15 times, doing doing what it tells you to do. And every day, you get a bonus entry. So if you've already entered 15 times, every day, you can go back to this and enter one more time for free. It's a little bonus entry. Um, what's going to happen is Friday, it ends, it ends 3 a.m. on Friday. I'm going to go in Friday during the day, go through it with a fine-tuned comb, and pull out all the cheaters, people that don't belong to Vaping Underground, people who put in fake Vaping Underground names, things like that. Pull out all the, the invalid entries. And then, live on Mod Envy, we are going to uh, pick the winner, and then that winner uh, will get a PM from me in Vaping Underground, because you have to be a member of Vaping Underground. Uh, they'll give me their shipping information, and then I will drop ship you through Amazon Prime. Okay? A, uh, a PS4 and uh, it will be at your house in two or three days uh, now the reason why we're giving away a PS4 is because we had the vaping underground vote on it it was either an Xbox one a PS4 or a, or a Nintendo Wii with a bunch of games and uh, it was close but the PS4 edged it out I'm team Xbox but uh, a PS4 is still a wonderful game system and uh, I hope uh, I hope uh, one of you guys in the show wins but uh, Get your ass over there and enter. 
Alrighty. Do we have any other questions in the room? We've got uh, two minutes to the bottom of the hour, and uh, when we're wrapping up here, please stay tuned because we've got DC coming on. He is our host uh, during the week. He he takes the graveyard shift, plays great tunes. Such a friendly guy, very knowledgeable. He can answer lots and lots of questions. Uh, about everything, devices, deals, juice making, you name it. So really a knowledgeable, great guy, and like I say, music mix to die for. So stay tuned, he will be taking you right on through until the early morning light, or until he gets tired, whichever comes first. <laughs> I was on a, I was on a hang, I was, I was on a, uh, uh, a, uh, hangout with him, and he says his show is what's known as a decompression show. Oh, I agree. I enjoy listening um, while I'm like up late and, and doing deals and looking for stuff. Um, I'll just tune in and listen in the background while I'm hunting around. And yeah, totally agree with that. Uh, Jay Parton wants to know any more info on the vape shop bombing in Vancouver. Well, that was actually in Langley, uh, the outskirts of Vancouver, an outlying area. And uh, that was ADV, all day vapes in Langley. Uh, it was um, apparently what we know so far is there was some nature of explosive device in a backpack uh, left basically right where the gas meter is outside the shop right out front. Um, the security cameras did catch uh, the perpetrator uh, coming up, leaving the backpack, walking away, and minutes later there was a large explosion. Uh, they did have walking, to call walking away vaping I might add. Well, some have said that. I, I I couldn't discern that from the tape, but some are convinced that's exactly what was going on. So, um, you know, watch the, uh, and Big Bam's got the, the uh, coverage there. There was, um, uh, the, the security camera footage is in the CTV clip. So um, watch and see for yourself. Basically, we're waiting on more details, and I'm really, really hoping that the next news I get is that they have a suspect in custody. And on that note, Vapor's Break says, I bake cookies and watch DC. <laughs> so that is an excellent way to end uh, Undone Deal. I love Undone Deal. So, uh, Absolutely. We will see you. We will see you Saturday for Mod Envy when we will reveal the winner of the PS4. And... Uh, talk about all the other lovely giveaways that we'll have. So we'll see you uh, in a few days. Alrighty. Well, uh, have a great week, and, and we'll see you next week with all the deals. All right. We'll see you guys.